Now, question number 11. Question 11 says express x square plus 4x plus 2 in the form of x plus a square plus b. That is your completed square form. Okay, how do you do that? We uh, take the coefficient common, but here we don't have any coefficient with x square, so we'll just simply be writing it as it is x square plus 4x plus 2. Then what do we do? We half the coefficient of x and we add and subtract the square. So half of it is 2, and we'll be adding and subtracting the square of it. So, in the second step, we will be making this a complete square. So, that gives you x plus 2 whole square plus 2 minus 4. And that gives you x plus 2 square minus 2. So, this is your first step of making it into a complete square form. Now, part B says the functions f and g are defined as follows for f of x equals to x square plus 4x plus 2 for x is less than or equals to minus 2 and g of x is minus x minus 4 for x is greater than or equals to minus 2 find an expression for f inverse so for f inverse what do we do uh, we change the subject from y to x and then we Exchange that with f inverse and then change the variables. Uh, this is your way of doing it. But as we have this quadratic equation, so we have two, x, two values, like two terms in x. So it is not very easy for us to make it into a, uh, make the x subject. So instead, this form, completely square form is, uh, good for us to deal with okay so we know that f of x is equals to x square plus 4x plus 2 so also this is equals to x plus 2 whole square minus 2 so I, I'll be using this completed square form to find the inverse so let's put this equals to y Let put y equals to the function x plus 2 whole square minus 2. Now make the x the subject so it will become x plus 2 square on one side equals to y plus 2. Taking square root on both sides. So this will give you x plus 2 equals to plus minus root of y plus 2 and x equals to plus minus root of y plus 2 minus 2. Okay, this is an expression for f inverse. Okay, one more thing to do. This is equals to f inverse of y equals minus 2 plus minus root of y plus 2. And secondly, interchanging the variables, f inverse of x equals minus 2 plus minus x plus 2. Okay, this is all of your working, but there is one more thing to do. And that is, uh, out of this plus and minus, we have to decide which one is the right one for f inverse. And we know that the domain of this function is range of this function. That means the output of this function must be the same as the domain of this. So the, the domain of this is x is less than or equals to minus 2. So the range means the output of this inverse function should be also be y or the function must be less than or equals to minus 2. So when it will happen, when we will get the 
values less than or uh, equals to minus 2 when something is subtracted from your minus 2 then we will get the uh, smaller number so when we decide for what we will be getting uh, the values either positive or plus x plus 2 under the root or minus x plus 2 under the root for sure we will be getting minus because something when it is it will be subtracted from it will give you less than minus 2 so out of positive and negative negative is your final thing so this is an expression for f inverse i hope you understand this okay and also we have one more part to this question part b2 okay and they say that find an expression for g f inverse of x that means we need to find first g f of x and then be doing g inverse g f inverse so what is g of x g of x is minus x minus 4 g f of x would be then first writing the g of x the outer function that is minus of x minus 4 and in place of x we will be substituting our f of x so firstly i am just substituting the normal version x square plus 4x plus 2 now uh, because dealing with the completed square form is more easier so i am substituting the completed square form and that is x plus 2 whole square minus 2 minus 4 first simplify this and then find the inverse for it so minus of x plus 2 whole square plus 2 minus 4 that gives you minus x plus 2 whole square minus 4 okay we get g f of x and now we need g f inverse of x okay so for that we need to put that equals to y and change the way uh, exchange the places make the x the make x the uh, subject so yeah y is equals to minus x plus 2 whole square minus 4 make x the subject so it will give you x plus 2 whole square equals minus y minus 4 and x gives you sorry taking square root on both sides because we have square so x plus 2 is equals to plus minus root of minus y minus 4 Mm -mm -mm -mm. sorry plus 2 minus 4 is minus 2 so that gives you minus y minus 2 now x will be equals to minus 2 plus minus root of minus y minus 2 yeah this is the x subject now re replace it with f inverse of y minus 2 plus minus root of minus y minus 2 and then x replace y by x it will give you f inverse of x equals minus 2 plus minus root of minus x minus 2 now again uh sorry this was not f inverse it was g f inverse because we have substituted y equals to g f of x 
so x will be equals to gf inverse of y okay so this is all working for the inverse now again we have to decide for the either we are going to take the positive out of it or negative out of it so find uh, to find out the which values are satisfied first we need to understand the domain and range of gf of x the composite function for so for gf of x um, the domain would be the domain of inner function and the inner function is f so the domain of f of x and what was the domain of f of x x is less than or equals to minus 2 also we need to see that the output f of x is giving uh, with this range sorry with this domain x is less than or equals to 2 uh, minus 2 is it giving you the range of f of x to be x is greater than or equals to minus 2 because f is inside g so the g will be having the uh, having the domain as the range of f of x so first see that so for x is less than or equals to minus 2 for for example if we have x is minus 2 then it gives you minus 2 then if it is less than minus 2 that is minus let's say we take minus 4 so minus 4 plus 2 again gives you 4 minus 2 and that gives you 2 so is it giving you the values equals to or greater to minus 2 yes let's take one more example like take minus 6 minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4 4 square is 16 16 minus 2 is 14 so yeah we are getting values for f of x greater than or equals to minus 2 that means that remains valid that satisfies the domain of g of x so now that means x is less than or equals to minus 2 is the domain of f of g of x okay sorry uh, g of f of x because f of x is your inner function now let's get into that so this we proved to be the correct domain of g of f of x now what will be the uh, actually we don't need the range of it this much is fine because the domain of f uh, g f of x will be the range of g f of f inverse of x so that means because the inverses are like this if f of x have a domain f inverse have that range if f in f of x has some range f inverse have that as domain so they have opposite so the range of f g f inverse would be then the same x is less than or equals to minus so we have to decide the values that we are going as output in this by looking into this range okay so what do we need we need the values that are less than or equals to minus 2 so for this reason your g f of inverse values would be minus 2 minus of root minus x plus 2 okay because if something is subtracted from minus 2 will give you the um, smaller numbers than 2 so yeah also one more thing the way we i wrote this range is not written as x we write it as the function name so range of gff inverse is minus less than or equals to minus 2 so this is your final result for your uh, question 11 part b 2 okay uh yeah so what do we have these questions are not very difficult of inverse but only the domain and range makes a little confusion so we need to understand that also for the composite functions we need to understand how does the domain and range works so yeah that's it this is all about your paper may june
2025, Radiant 12. Uh, if you have any queries, any suggestions, any questions, if you see some mistake in the paper, you can please uh, write us in the comment box. Or for this whole PDF version of this uh, detailed salt paper, you can visit a mathematics website. Thank you very much and Allah Hafiz.